you're looking to do is find things to try that will give you immediate feedback. How do you stay patient? How long do you stay patient? How do you kind of manage that when you're not getting the results you were hoping for? Uh, well, I'm the absolutely the wrong guy to ask about patience because I am really impatient. I am fidgety. And let's see, how would I answer that? My answer is I wouldn't be patient. Uh, I think part of what you're looking to do is find things to try that will give you immediate feedback. Uh, and if you are and, and if you are getting crickets, if nothing is happening, you had, it's a big judgment call to go, does it need more time? Or did I mess something up? Or is my bait not um, attractive enough? Or did I not do something well? And I've got to confess, I almost always lean toward I messed something up rather than, oh, well, they'll figure it out. In other words, if I don't get people banging my doors down, if I don't get that flood of new customers when I launch something, I'm immediately switching to try something else. I'm not a big patience guy. But I acknowledge some things take time, but there is a little trick uh, that I use a lot is that I'm always looking for proxies. In other words, let's say you're trying to, you have a new technique that you wanna try and it's gonna drive lifetime value. You think what I really need to do is increase the propensity for people to have a higher order value over a year. Well, you run this test, well, to find out whether it works or not, it takes a year. And not only is that a patient's above and beyond almost anybody I know, but you, a lot of times you can't afford to wait a year to see if something's working. So what I'm looking for is proxies. So I will look at the behavior of people who have high average order values versus low average low, lifetime values versus low lifetime values and say, is there something they did early which predicted whether they'd have a high lifetime value or a lower lifetime value? In other words, was you can, for example, in an e-commerce um, part, and Dan, cut me off if I'm getting too geeky on this, but like in an e-commerce model, for example, you might look at things like, what was the timing between first order and second order? And you go, well, that's really interesting that the people who ordered within 48 hours of their first order, those people all came in with a much higher first year lifetime value than people who took more than two days. And once you've learned that, now you can run tests, even though ostensibly it's about improving lifetime value, but you can now run tests that look for did they order a second time within 48 hours or after 48 hours? And use that as a rough predictor about whether you're trying to figure out works. So I went down a rabbit hole there. But the point is, I'm always looking for ways that I can move really, really quickly. And usually moving really, really quickly is antithetical to patients. Thanks for watching. And if you liked what you saw, I'd love you to subscribe. And if you want to be notified of my future releases, well, you know the drill. Just hit the bell.